Uh, good morning viewers today we want to talk about facial derivatives the same principle for finding ordinary derivatives is also applicable in finding facial derivatives but in facial derivatives the function depends on more than one quantity to understand this concept clearly let us consider the volume of a cylinder so first this is a cylinder if this is a cylinder the volume of this cylinder will be phi r squared h therefore the volume depends on two quantities the radius and the height of this cylinder while phi is constant here so if the height of this cylinder increase also the volume is going to increase at the same time if the radius increase also the volume is going to increase if you increase the height of this cylinder there will be change in height there will be change in this h which is height as long as the height of this cylinder increase also the volume is going to increase while the radius remain constant without increasing the volume of this radius the volume of the cylinder increase so therefore we can find the change in the volume with respect to height or with respect to radius suppose u is a function of x and y which is equals to it this is a function u which depends on x and y so you can differentiate this function with respect to either y or x to differentiate u with respect to x you are going to treat y as constant therefore we have u subscript x which is the same thing as which is the same thing as delta u over delta x this time around we are not going to use the u over the x because this is total derivative while this one stands for uh, partial derivative so we are going to differentiate this function with respect to x treating y as constant so if you differentiate x here you are going to obtain 2x but remember y is constant so we have 2xy then the second term if you differentiate x x has an index of one so if you differentiate it it will vanish leaving only 2y squared and this uh the last term does not contain any x so you treat it as constant but under uh, you know that the derivative of a constant is zero so this is the derivative of u with respect to x now to differentiate u with respect to y you are going to differentiate the u over dy keeping x as constant and this will result to if you differentiate y here you are going to get one one times x squared is the same thing as x squared plus the second term if you differentiate this you are going to obtain 2y remember the other coefficient remain constant so we have 2y times 2x making 4xy plus if you differentiate the last term which is also y we are going to obtain 2y so this is how to differentiate a function using partial derivative you can differentiate that function with respect to one of the variables or you can differentiate it with respect to all the variables so now if we are to differentiate this with respect to x and y together uh, what I mean here is u subscript x y this is the same thing as uh, saying du over dx plus du over dy so in this case you are only going to add these two times together in order to obtain this derivative at the same time if you are given a trigonometric function you can apply the same principle suppose you have u which depends on x and y equals if you want to differentiate this function with respect to x you are going to differentiate x treating y as constant so we have delta u delta x equals 
in the first term we have x so we are differentiated with respect to x so you are going to differentiate x treating all other um, quantities as constant so if you differentiate x you are going to obtain one leaving only two sine y so we have two sine sine y plus you keep this constant you differentiate this this remain constant if you differentiate this you're going to obtain minus sine sine x and this all together equal to 2 sine y minus y squared sine sine x so this is the derivative of this function with respect to x keeping y as constant you can do the same thing we'll find the derivative of u with respect to y in that case you are going to uh, set x to be constant so in my next class i'm going to show you how to find the partial derivative of a function in which the independent variable jointly depends on other variables